Olympian? Yes. <laughs> How does it feel? It feels good. I'm still kind of, I mean, was spacing out up on the award stand, still not really sunk in, but I'm obviously really excited, and, you know, to be running with those girls, you know, that you're onto something, so I'm, I'm excited, and we got tomorrow, just holding everything in for Ajay, but I'm excited, and just really, but yeah, I have no words, obviously, still kind of bringing it all in, but um, just... Yeah, I'm really proud to represent so many people, um, so many, everyone who's gotten me here, my parents who are here, you know, my mom and my sister never come to my races, they're here today, my dad's here, my coach, um, just to have all them here and to support you, that's what gets you to the finish line, and I just I feel just really lucky to be in this situation, I wasn't even, yeah, I watched this meet from home four years ago, I made my first U.S. championship in 2014, so it's just, it's crazy how things just come around and I just, just excited, yeah. And your group, I mean, Ajay runs the 8, you run the 10, Yeah. it's very different, you know, how, how much training do you guys do together? Um, I, I mean, we're all, we meet every day, well not every day, but we, we meet together, we may not do the same workouts in the fall, we probably train quite a bit more together, maybe he'll, she'll just do, start the same workout as I do, and then just not do as much, but yeah, it's not really, I guess, about having specific training partners, just having bodies out there who support you, and you support them, you know, it's almost more fun for me to watch her race and watch her compete, uh, just because I've seen everything that she's gone through, and you can't really track your own progress as well, you know? Right. You just kind of feel like one day it happens. Obviously, that's not how it works. Um, but when you see other people and you're with other people, you can really watch them. And, um, and to see that progress, it's pretty cool. It's a culmination of things. So just to be a part of other people's journey and see them grow, that's just exciting. And the other people work out with you longer distance? Um, yeah, I have a few a few guys that I owe a bunch to. <laughs> They're gonna be extremely happy and proud, and uh, I'm extremely happy to have them, you know, train with me. And uh, you know, Dante, he has kids. They wait in the car while he comes out and, and runs with me. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm thankful that he has sacrificed going in late to work to help me finish a workout. Um, Javon's in school. <laughs> you know, he comes out and is in grad school for business, and you know, finishes a whole day. Of and comes down the track and helps me train. You know, Alex is working. Just there's just so many people. There's a whole you know, group of guys. That's yeah, good. that just kind of come out and mix conference. their way in there. But three before press conference. It's just yeah, I'm just grateful that they have you know manipulated their schedules to help me get here and you know be able to perform well. So just a lot of people along and the way. So turning to today's race, um, you had a how do you feel like it went? How was the heat? That sort of thing. Yeah, I don't mind the heat really. It's, I went to school in Texas. Texas, right? Yeah. 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 So the heat's not that bad, big of a deal. I it was just, it's a long race. It's it's different the way that, um, I guess the pressure just kind of builds on itself. So I feel like that more is what I noticed in the heat of anything. So it wasn't too bad. What does it mean to you with a long list of Olympians that have come from the University of Texas and now you're one of them? What does that mean to you to kind of be a part of that legacy in this race? Uh, it's, it's so special. Like, Texas is tradition. You know, like, that's the theme of, that's the slogan, that's the tagline. Uh, I watched Ryan win the shot put last night, and that was just so exciting, you know, to be, I went to school with him, you know, I watched him in the training room, so it's just, it's just special. Um, I heard Trey go off this morning, you know, second in the hunt, just hearing those things, seeing those people, they know how to get it done, and Leo about to run this weekend, I know Michelle's in the shot put, just Sanya, just watching all of them Courtney <laughs> this weekend you know the list goes on past present future but I'm just it's an honor yeah and you mentioned the progressions that you made really quickly over the last couple of years meddling at USA finally and, and getting here now and, and making the Olympic team do you kind of feel a little uh, pride in how quickly you've progressed recently and do you feel like you're kind of carrying the banner for Texas distance I don't want to say I'm carrying a banner you know I'm I'm really um, you know, fortunate to be have been in a position to wear those colors and, and been from that school and have gone there. I I, you know, I have pride in that. That's one of the things that I carry when I race. You know, I'm proud to be Longhorn. Uh, so I definitely think about that when when I compete and when I train. Just how you carry yourself. But I don't want to say that I'm carrying the banner. There's a lot of girls coming up and coaching staff working really hard to make things happen. You know, distance, sprints, throws, everything. So yeah. good luck in Rio. Thank you. Calling you. Yeah, press conference right now. Yeah.